Finally, large and complete mammalian fossils are rare, but an amazingly uh, detailed fossil record exists for the process of pelvic reduction in sticklebacks. Uh, we introduced sticklebacks yesterday. I want to show you a short video that summarizes extensive uh, paleontological studies of the fossil record of pelvic reduction that have been uh, carried out by Mike Bell. These are all based on studies of a fossil uh, lake site in Nevada. At this site, diatoms, die each year, float uh, to the bottom of the lake and establish these thin rocky layers that are like growth rings uh, in, in a tree. You can actually walk through time by walking your way uh, up and down the slopes of uh, this quarry. What we're going to show you is uh, detailed studies of the forms of sticklebacks that are present in one section of this quarry that represents about uh, 25,000 years of evolution that Mike's looked at in detail. At each stage, you can pull out rocks, split them uh, from the quarry at lots of different areas to calculate which fish were present at a given time. They come in different forms, including the complete stickleback with a pelvis and a spine, reduced stickleback with a tiny rudiment like you would find in a manatee or whale, or an intermediate form where there's two bones left uh, instead of just one. At each stage in the fossil record, you can count the fish that are seen at a similar layer across rocks in the quarry and calculate what's the percentage of the fish that are reduced or intermediate or complete. And you can do that for successive stages as you walk through time. So this is a summary of actual data from uh, Mike's lab calculating and counting lots of different fish and rocks. They all start out reduced. And then in this series, at about 10,000 years, a new stickleback uh, invades the environment, replaces the, the previous form. This stickleback has a complete pelvis, and a very interesting thing happens over the next 10 or 15,000 years. That complete form re-evolves pelvic reduction with intermediate fossils seen along the way. Okay, we'll show you that time series again. Starts out with a population that's 100% pelvic reduced. Rapid replacement around 10,000 years, new form all with a complete pelvis, and then the re-evolution of a pelvic reduced phenotype, intermediate forms uh, seen along the way. You can also see that in line graph form, a blue line for the reduced form that predominates in the early stage, a red line for the complete form that rapidly replaces at 10,000 years, and then the re-evolution of pelvic reduction with an intermediate form summarized by the green line uh, shown during the time series. 